If you tried a beer in the UK and you didn't buy it on draft, but you bought it in a can or a bottle, then you may have noticed this symbol here, one that mentions alcohol units. If you're not from the UK, you might be wondering what this means, and heck, even people from the UK might not really know what it is. Well, this video is about that units thing on UK beer bottles and cans, what they are, what they mean, how they're worked out, and even how they could be helpful and even beneficial to your health or drinking habits. Increase the like button by one unit if you think this video is helpful, and let's dive in. So to get this out of the way, a unit is not an organisation from Doctor Who, nor is it a really massive dude, but it is a standard measure of a given quantity of a thing. In this case, the thing is alcohol. Now this word, standard, may resonate with my non-UK viewers, because the basic idea behind them is very similar to the concept of a standard drink. The idea of units was first thought of in the late 1980s, as a concept to help people keep track of how much alcohol they were chucking down their throats. Now originally, we Brits were also using the concept of a standard drink, but after 1987, we decided to switch to the idea of units, which has been used ever since by NHS professionals and beer producers alike. But what are they exactly? Well, there's kind of two answers. The sciencey numbers folk will tell you that one unit of alcohol is 10 millilitres, or 8 grams, of alcohol. But doctors may tell you that one unit of alcohol is what the average human body can process in one hour. But this can vary on certain factors, such as your weight or your sex. Let's get a bit practical, because this can actually help with the concept of what a unit is. Weights and measures and such can be a bit tricky, what with the UK adopting metric, while at the same time having imperial measurements, which are, helpfully, slightly different to American measures. Alas, I am going to be using metric in this next section, but I will try to stick something on screen which will hopefully give an idea of what a unit is. So let's start off with the simplest and easiest, which is how many units are contained in a single measure of a spirit. In the UK, a single measure of a spirit, be it whiskey, vodka, rum, or whatever, is defined by the Weights and Measures laws as being a multiple of 25 millilitres. There are exceptions, such as in Northern Ireland, but for the most part, this is the standard measure of a spirit. The UK's Weights and Measures are a topic for another video, but any spirit that you buy from a pub or bar will be 25 millilitres for a single, 50 millilitres for a double, and so on and so forth. Although some pubs will not serve anything above a double in the same glass. Generally, spirits lie in the 40% ABV range, which means that 40% of any given amount of that liquid will be alcohol. And this is why this is the easiest of the units, because one standard 25 milliliter shot of spirits equates to about one alcohol unit. There are some spirits, like sherry or port, that do get served in larger measures. They get served in a 50 milliliter measure as standard, but due to them being a lower ABV, they score less on the unit scale. So, for instance, a 50 ml measure of sherry at 20% ABV only comes in at one unit. Next up is beer, which is a bit more complicated as it can vary in strength depending on the style. Later, we'll discuss how units will get worked out, but here's the quick and simple version. A half pint of 4% cider or beer generally equates to about one unit, which means that a standard pint of beer sits at around two units. This is, of course, as I said, only a general guide because beer strength can vary from beer to beer and style to style. But generally, your average macro-produced lager or cider like Carling, Coors, Budweiser, Strongbow or Magnus will weigh in at about 4% ABV and the average cask or keg ale does as well. Last up is wine, which can vary between 11 to 16% ABV and wine is served in four different measures in the UK. 125 mil, 175 mil, 250 mil, and 750 mil, or in other words, a bottle. 125 mil is 1.6 units. A 175 measure comes in at about 2.3 units, and the largest measure you can get before you buy a bottle, 
250ml sits at around 3.3 units, and your average bottle of wine lands in the region of something of 8.5 units. Now the numbers I provided are only really a general guide, but there is a formula that you can use to work out the amount of units in a drink for yourself. So let's explore that before we explain how units are used and how they can help you to keep an eye on your drinking. The formula for working out units is as follows. You take the alcohol by volume percentage, or the ABV, then you multiply that by how many milliliters of the booze you've got, and then you divide that number by 1000. Now, most UK beers come in 284 milliliters, which is a draft half pint. Then in cans and bottles, you get 330 mil, which is about a can of Coke for reference. Then you get 440 mil, 500 mil, which is just short of a pint. And then on draft, you can buy 568 milliliters, which is a great British pint. This is general, as you can also get 750 mil bottles, which is about the same size as a standard bottle of wine. As an example, let's work out how many units are in this bottle of Hobgoblin. It is a 500 milliliter bottle, and the ABV is 5.2. So we take that 5.2 and we multiply it by 500, and that gives us 2,600. We then, of course, divide that number by 1,000, and we get the number 2.6. So this beer contains 2.6 units. And if we look on the back of the bottle, this is what it says is contained within. Next up, let's have a look at this bottle of Belgian ale that doesn't have the units measured on it. So we can see that this is a 330ml bottle, and the ABV is 10.5%. 10.5 multiplied by 330 is 3465. We will divide that number by 1000, and we can discover that this bottle contains 3.4 units. Why not try it on the beer that you're trying now? If you're in the USA, you can find out how many milliliters your bottle, pint, or can is by multiplying the ounces by 29.574, and then you can kind of work out from yourself. But let's go for a more obvious American example, a 17 ounce can of Budweiser. Now 17 ounces is about 500 milliliters. Budweiser is generally 5%, and that gives us 2,500. Divide that number, of course, by 1,000, and that can of bud is 2.5 units. So all this talk of units is all well and good, but how do we use these units exactly? To answer the question of what units are used for, we need to go back to the definitions earlier on. One unit of alcohol is what the human body can process in one hour. So that 2.5 unit can of Budweiser will take about two and a half hours to be fully sorted out by various bits of processing by your liver, blood, and so on. This can be handy if you know how long that beer is gonna be in your system. If it is 12 p.m. and I have one beer, then at 5 p.m. I know that that beer is no longer gonna be in my system. But if I've had three, well, those units are still floating around in me even at 5 p.m., even if I feel all right. Units often crop up when you go to see the doctor in the UK, as they will use this measurement to work out how much you drink. Instead of asking how many pints you have, because, well, you might be a wine drinker or a spirits drinker, they might ask how many units you drink in a week. And this is one of the reasons that UK beers have the number of units displayed. They're an aid to help us drink more responsibly and look after our health. Now, admittedly, this is because us Brits have had an um, uh, interesting relationship with booze. Uh, see my beer history series for more about that. And this is another way of helping us be a bit more sensible when it comes to drinking. It is, of course, also a legal requirement, so that's another reason why you see units on cans and bottles. Well, in a nutshell, that is what UK alcohol units are all about, and I hope that you found that useful. If you'd like to learn all about UK licensing laws, or if you want to know about five things that you'll need to know about visiting a UK pub, then please click on the cards on the screen now. But until next time, grab one unit of your chosen drink and keep asking questions. I will see you next time.